today. And today we're going to have a game of Supercars 2 on the Atari ST. Now, I did have this back in the day on my Commodore Amiga. And I quite liked it. So basically, if you've seen Crazy Cup, ca Crazy Cars? Supercars. Um, it's a top down racing game. Basically, this just extends on this. Right. Okay. Now, I did have the original copy of this game back in the day. So, I would have had to put that, that code in. Um, difficulty level easy. Players, you can have up to two players. Um, player one, just keep it. Fire to accelerate, yes. Communication screens, yes. Right, so happy with that. Easy level race one, number of laps five. Simple first, of course, enjoy it, this scenery. Right, is it loading? It's not telling me what's going on. I'm trying to push fire, but I don't know if it's loading. Oh, it is loading, right. Right, so the graphics are an improvement. Looks almost like the Amiga version. Oh, so have I got missiles? Yes, but they don't eliminate the cars this time. It will put the cars back on the track. So I'm in fourth place. So like the first crazy... Why do they keep saying fucking crazy cars? Supercars. You fucker. Now what I've lost my thread. <laughs> what I was about to fucking say. Like the first supercars. Yeah, I've totally... You can tell this ain't fucking scripted. <laughs> Very, very unprofessional <laughs> on this channel, believe me. But then again, it's not supposed to be. It's me. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's me just playing the game, telling you what I personally think. And people, yeah, it is a review of some sorts. Hence why I call it review. A lot of people say, no, oh, it's not a review. Oh, fuck off. It is. I'm, I'm calling it a review. If you don't like it, fuck off. Right. Okay, I ain't got no more missiles. Oh, I do! I still can't remember what I was about to say. And I've lost. I'm sure it'll come back to me. So I'll come fourth. So it's it's points based on this. Right. It's ironic, really, because that I think that's supposed to be an Amiga 1000. <laughs> I think it was originally programmed for the Amiga anyway. Right, so I've got 2,500, so I can, um, don't need to fix my car, I can trade in my car if I want. Like this, like, unlike the first one, you can't choose your track, it's, it's, um, more of a, a Grand Prix sort of situation here. So it sort of comes up with Grand Prix names, like Nelson Pickett's A-Lane, or Nigel Mates or something like that. Right, okay. Oh! I think I was talking about the crap when cars crash, you, they just randomly place you, unlike eliminating. I can't remember what I was going to fucking say on that. Now. Yeah, so this is a point space system, but you can get knocked out. I think if you don't um, qualify too well, I think you got to be up. You got to be finishing in a certain place. Oh fucking hell!
I think the sound effects sound better on the ST. The Ami I never was a fan of the Amiga sound effects anyway, or the Lotus games sound effects. I'm not talking about the music, I'm talking about the sound effects. And my damage is halfway now, so. And I'm in fourth place still. Oh, fuck it! Oh, bollocks, even if you don't make the bridge. But my damage is quite severe. I think that'll be game over if, I, if my damage is quite bad. I think this is a little bit more tougher than the first supercars. And there will be questions that you've got to answer in this game, also for bonus uh, money and stuff. So you get questions about your sponsors, the environment. I think your test, taking another driving test. So fourth place again. Right, so I'm gonna have to do some, right. Repair all the damage, how much money have I got? Oh, plenty of money. So you can, um, if you go to trade, then you can buy some upgrades, right. Can't buy that, I ain't got enough money for that. Got no money for that. So, yeah, they're heat seekers, I think. So let's buy. Doesn't matter. But. Right. Okay. All right. So you can go front. Yeah. Oh, you can even sell. If you've got anything to sell, you can sell the parts. Right. Let's go to quit. Go to the next race. I've done some repairs. Yeah, Alain Prosperate. <laughs> so you, you can get the reference what that driver was supposed to be. So it's a 90s game. Early 90s game. Right, okay. So lap 7, position 10. So there's a lot more cars. Have that. Oh, bollocks, missed it. And I've only got one of each. So I'm in third block. Oh, fucking get out of the way. Overtake. Oh, here we go. Now I have reviewed the Lotus games on the ST, all three of them. I think I've done that some time ago actually. Obviously there are three games owned on the Amiga. Right, so I'm in first place. Excellent. Right, damage ain't so bad. So the laps count down. So I've got two laps to go. There's a line. One lap to go. Get out of my way, you bastard. Stop holding me up! So that's it. Oh no, I've got one more lap. Fucking hell, zero laps to go. Shit, I thought I finished then. So it is a little bit different from the first game. Alright, so I come first. So I mean joint first plate, or well, first and second with Nigel Mitzel. Oh, here we go, we've got the environmentalists out, right. 
fast talking time. You must talk your way out of being fined by the people in charge of noise and car pollution. The environmentalists. Do you realise... Did you realise that the noise from your car has been breaking windows? Wow, any double... <laughs> Alright, sure it's not... Oh, what a pain! <laughs> wow, double glazing, double glazed anyone? Sure it's not... Alright, what's it up? I don't know. Would you ever consider buying an electric car? Even back then! <laughs> Even back then! Right, no, they are not noisy enough. You can't win races on a milk float, in a milk float. If the performance was right, yes. Right. Oh, you fucking bitch! Fuck it, I bet she was one of these bitches that supported you, Liz. Right. It's not 30 years ago, mind you, but now. Right, okay, we don't need to do any repairing. Right, let's quit out and go racing again. Yeah, I didn't know what to answer there. Ayrton send up. <laughs> I could make a nasty joke, but I won't. I won't, I won't, I won't make a nasty joke about Ayrton Senna. Right. Right, okay. Oh, you fucking bastard. Oh, that's a bit of annoying. That's a big tunnel to go fucking up in. There's another big tunnel to go fucking up in. Because if you lose in a in the tunnel, then you're fucked. Whoa! So you want to be straight as you can when you're going into the tunnel. So we're in my fifth place. I've got no missiles. Now I like the like what I liked in the first game. The, the missiles actually eliminated um, computer players, or yeah, computer players. I think you'd only play one player on that. Oh shit! So this would have been good playing two players on this. I think I did on the Amiga version. Sure I did. Mate used to come round. We used to play two players. I can't remember if it was a split screen or not. It was a long time ago since I did do a two player, play two players on the Amiga version. We're talking 30 years plus. Well, I would say in the region of 30 years. Because I remember this didn't, because by what 1993 had an Amiga 1200 and none of the Lotus games or the Supercars games ran on my Amiga 1200 so the Amiga 500 didn't get used very much after that so I didn't really play any of the Lotus games or these very often I don't think well I didn't really get a look in once I got my 1200 because I was more using my 1200 Right, so I'm still a couple of points. Oh, who's this? Uh, your stinkingly rich great uncle has died, and it looks as if you may be in the will. Can you get any? Can you get any money? All oh, right. What was your opinion of great uncle? Uh, that depends on how much I get. Oh, he was the best. Right. Is he even... Donate some money to... 
starving computer programmers. Sure. Hmm, maybe I'll buy a game or two. Under the terms of the will, you can't touch the money until you are 80. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Rats. Very young looking for an 80 year old. Bone Creek. Where's my walking stick? <laughs> well, under the terms of the will, you will get a thousand pounds. Don't spend it all in one go. Well, that's something. Unlike that fucking other bitch robbing me of my but four grand. A fucking. That environmental was bullshit. Right. Quit. Right, so race five. Right, it's loading. Don't say it's loading or not, so you have to assume. Well, obviously you can hear the disk drive going. Come on! Oh, so this is where we get the trains coming. Alright, so you can choose whatever way you want to go. Still like a shortcut, but... Oh, stop! Oh, I got pushed into the bloody train, you bastard. Where am I? Seventh. Six now. No! Ooh. So if you let go of the accelerator, it'll break on its own. There's no other way of braking because up is missiles and down is missiles. So I'm in first place. Ah, oh, you bastard. Down the floor. Oh, you fucking arsehole! Where have I now? Eighth. So I've gone from first to eighth. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah, this ain't going to be good. Right, sixth now. I've still got another lap to do. Ooh, get out of my way, you fuckers. I'm down to seventh. And I'm remaining seventh. No points. So that's game over. So I think you've got to at least finish in the, in the points to continue. But it was alright to play, actually. I didn't mind that on the ST. Plays pretty well. Um. Graphics look fine. Yeah, it, it's a it's a good version actually. I quite enjoyed it. Anyway, gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.